Hey guys, Alex here from Android Headlines, and we're talk taking a look at Air Command. We're gonna, actually going to have a separate video for each part of Air Command. Like I said, we're doing a lot of Galaxy Note 3 coverage, and I meant a lot, because it's one of the biggest devices of the year, and it's jam-packed with features, so we got to cover it all. So when you take out the S Pen, you'll see this little Air Command, uh, like, pinwheel, I guess you can call it, show up, up at the bottom, which you can also get it by hovering the S Pen over it and if you press that button it'll pop up too which you can do it on any part of the screen you can also do it while you're inside other apps so you'll have the action memo and then scrapbooker screen write S Finder and then pen window we're going to take a look at pen window real quick Pen window basically, well, as you can see from the tutorial there, because I just reset this device from the last video, it tells you you can just draw like a square and it'll open up an app for you. So we're just trying to do that. And then those are the apps that are available. There's not that many, it's only eight uh, calculator, clock, YouTube, phone, contacts, chat on, hangouts, and internet which is Samsung's stock browser. I'd like to see more in this because this is a really nice feature. It's kind of like um, LG's uh, Q-Slide, which we've gotten into a lot of detail with already when we were doing, going through the G2. Then you have S Finder, which allows you to find pretty much anything on your phone. So it's kind of like Spotlight on the iPhone or the Macs. You know, you can find like handwriting, your notes, uh, something from the past 30 days, past 7 days, yesterday, today. It's, it's pretty cool. I don't really have a need for it because I don't keep a whole lot of stuff on my phone. Mostly just like apps and stuff. Then you also have screen write, which takes a picture or a screenshot. Then you can write all over it. I think I need to change the color. Just change it to white. So you can write, you know, circle stuff. You can then go ahead and erase stuff. You can also like crop. You can save it, it'll save to your gallery and stuff. So it's, it's a pretty cool feature. Especially if you like to use the S Pen. And then there's also a scrapbook, which you can circle parts on your screen. So if you want to save like a picture Maybe you're on like our website and you want to save a picture of like the Galaxy Note 3 I've taken or another picture of a leaked phone or something. You can just circle it and it'll save it to your scrapbook. So we're just going to circle the camera and the calendar here. And from here you can save it to your scrapbook. Uh, you can do different scrapbooks. So maybe you want to have one that's like just for Note 3 stuff or just for Android or whatever. And you can just save it, which I'm not going to save it right now. Then there's also the action memo, which this is a pretty cool uh, feature right here. You can actually, you know, you can take regular memos. No, just write Android headlines here. So you can go ahead and erase all of that. You can also, like, if you want to write a phone number, like maybe uh, you can write my name, then a random number. And then you can hit the action, uh, the link to action button. And of course, it'll show a tutorial because it's the first. I literally just did the video for how to set up your Galaxy Note 3, so that's why all these tutorials are popping up. But if you click on okay don't show again it won't show again so now that I've clicked on the link to action it'll allow me to call save it to my contacts um, send a text message send an email which I'm guessing it not sure that it's a if it's an email address or not which is kind of weird let's open back back up again you can also go to a website you know if you put down a location like an address you can get directions which is pretty cool so if you save that, uh, save it to Tim because I don't want that on my account. 
it'll go ahead and save it. You know, it's already got the name there, the phone number. You just hit save and you're all done. So Action Mail was pretty cool. It's probably one of my favorite features. Of course, we're going to have a full video for each one of those features diving in deeper. So make sure you stay tuned to that. And until next time.